In this problem, we have a certain amount of, of radioactive nuclei at the beginning of an experiment, and we have some decay going on, and we have a final amount. So we start with 4.6 times 10 to the 15 nuclei, and we end with 8.14 times 10 to the 14 nuclei after 20 days. So we want to find out what the half-life is. Half-life is given by 0 0.693 times tau. Okay? Now, tau, we get from our formula, number of things at time t equals the number of things at time 0, e to the minus t over tau. So we have to solve for tau to figure out what tau is. So I start by dividing n naught over, and at time t divided by n initially equals e minus t over tau. Okay, now I have to take the natural log of both sides to get rid of this e to the stuff. So it's basically a log with base e, and that will get rid of e and just give me minus t over tau. So we take a natural log, ln, of both sides. We have nt over n naught. Make sure you take the natural log of the whole side. Natural log of e to the minus t over tau. So natural log of e to the something is just that something. So we're left with natural log nt over n naught equals negative t over tau. Solving for tau, we get tau equals minus t over natural log nt over n naught. Okay, so we plug in what we know. Minus 20 days. Okay, so we have a negative here, but we'll get a negative from this natural log because it's less than one. It's some decimal number because nt is the smaller of the two that we're dividing into. 8.14 times 10 to the 14. Nuclei divided by n naught, 4.60 times 10 the 15 nuclei. Okay, so we get a tau of 11.548 days. Okay, so we take this tau and plug it into here. So our half life becomes 0.693 times 11.548 days. gives us a half-life of 8.01 days. And that is your final answer.